Police Week, I made a proclamation on May 15th at the Police Department um, briefing. I issued a proclamation for the week of May 12th to 18th, 2019 to be National Peacekeepers and Police Officers Week to pay special tribute to those men and women who serve our community. I thank them for their service they provide to our community by safeguarding life and property and protecting our residents and businesses. I want to provide in my mayor's report um, through most of the summer an update on the city administrator recruitment. So we have hired uh, our consultant to do this recruitment and we are using Kara's Consulting. There were some stakeholder interviews conducted over the last two weeks with our city leadership team and members of our city council. And the purpose of these interviews was to gather input as to the qualifications of the ideal candidate we were seeking. Uh, applications will be accepted until June 12th. The city staff and public who wish to provide input into the hiring process are encouraged to participate in an online survey that we will be posting shortly. And we're hoping to complete our first round of finalist interviews in July. Uh, also, there will be a public forum to meet the finalists uh, on July 25th, location TBD. The 2019 job fair. The city of Issaquah hosted its sixth annual job fair on May 8th at the Pickering Barn. There were 44 participating businesses and over 220 applicants, and I want to thank the city staff for hosting, and to volunteers that came that day and provided resume review and interview prep for the applicants at the fair. Talk a little bit about the Parent Project. The Issaquah Police Department participates in a nationally recognized program, the Parent Project, focused on changing destructive adolescent behavior. They just completed the second series of classes last month and have had very good feedback. The program was cr created to empower parents, specifically those with strong-willed, difficult, or out-of-control adolescents. This 10-week program, and this uh, this is a 10-week program and the city will be offering it twice a year in the spring and fall. And for those interested in participating in the next series of the Parent Project, or just to get more information, please reach out to Corporal Ryan Smith by emailing him at ryanps at issaquawa.gov. The next, uh, I held a coffee with the mayor event this uh, weekend up at Talos at Anchorhead Coffee. And the next coffee with the mayor event will be held on Thursday, June 6th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Starbucks Coffee on Gilman. I look forward to engaging with the communities at these events and we are moving them around town, different days of the week, different times and different locales to see if we can get into as many different neighborhoods as we can. 425 Magazine has just completed an article called, um, I think it's the uh, Best City Awards, or I think it's a broader name than that. But in its um, annual edition, it has listed Issaquah as winning the Best City Recognition this year. There are other, several other categories for businesses in town and events in town that were also local winners. Best Festival, Salmon Days, Greater Issaquah Chamber of Commerce, Best Live Theater, Village Theater, and Best Shoe Shop, Crush Footwear. So that was a fun article to read. And uh, we usually, on this meeting, have a visitor uh, from the VFW who comes to make sure we're all aware of what's going on on Memorial Day, but Dave is unable to join us today. He's out of town. Um, I wanted to provide some information on Memorial Day celebrations on Monday. So our local VFW would like to extend an invitation to the community to attend a 10 a.m. Memorial Day celebration at Hillside Cemetery in Issaquah. Guest speaker will be former Mayor Fred Butler, and they're also hopeful that Congresswoman Kim Schreier will also be able to join and address the crowd. In case of inclement weather that day, the event will be held at the Issaquah Senior Center located beside Memorial Field in Old Town. And that concludes the Mayor's report. Proceeding to the